All right, Dave. Here you go. There's my feather box. Inside this box, I keep my feathers. I keep some of my beads, my mirror, pair of scissors. This item right here. This item right here is the red hackle roach. And I got it sewn on. Well, I don't have it sewn on. I have it tied on to a, it's my winter hat. It's made out of otter fur. As you can see, right up in there is the base of the hackle roach. I shall see if I can fold this over. Can you see? See how that's sewn on there? It's little rows of feathers sewn onto the base. You see the hole? Hole goes through. What you do is you take your feathers, and there's a leather thong that comes that's attached to the hat. And then I have it, one of the turkey feathers going through, and I have it tied to that. And see how these just flop? They just fold right over. Some of them go the other way. But normally this is how it's worn. There's a feather roach right there. A hackle roach. Now, this is what you want. This thing right here, this is, you're looking at the underside. It's laying flat. I'll zoom in. You can see there's the leather base right there. It's very tiny. There's the hole. You can see I got a leather thong here, and onto the leather thong, I have some turkey feathers. Sometimes I have hawk feathers, sometimes I have turkey feathers I tie on there. You roll it over, it sits like that. Now, I'm going to flip it around, and now I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It can be a pain when you're trying to pass your braid through here to find this little tiny hole that sits in there. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Right in there is the base. See the hole? And it's stitched all the way around the outside. I got so many stitches on there it turns it into fuzz. So then, you, pa you pass the hole through, you pass your braid through, and what you do is you then take one of your feathers, stick it right through, and your knot goes right, top knot would be attached like this. And this is what pins it to your head. Or in your case, you're going to have to use something to tie it around your neck. Another thing that I use sometimes is I use a roach pin, which is just like a little stick, a little stick with some feathers on it. And this just goes through your braid. It's like a spike. All right. Now, there is my deer roach. Looks just like that. Notice how short the hair is? I got the red hair and the porcupine hair. There's the underside, pretty much a plain style. Then I got the red wool that's sewn inside. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll put a spreader. If I want to make it flat, I want to do something like that. Then you do that. Then what I do is I pass, put the put the roach on this first, and then the turkey feathers go right inside, just like that, like a little bundle. You see what I'm talking about? So there you have it. So when you're wearing it, it looks somewhat like this somewhat all right my wife told knew i was showing you all all our clean laundry should be pissed at me all right there's my leggings nothing fancy turn around so you can see hey there's the back side you can see the stitches one side on the other side you can't see the stitches this is the end i got two thongs and that's what I use to attach it to my to my belt where my breech cloth is. So there you have it. In a nutshell. Hope this helps. Um, I mean, I got quite a few feathers on this one. Uh, yours may not have as many, but it'll it'll still have the same effect. I've done this. I've added to this one like three or four times. So. 
There you go. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.